Well, you may or you may not know by now, April is Child Abuse Awareness Month. I could give you a list of kids that have been affected by this, but it would never end. We need to get laws changed so this thing can quit happening to our precious children. Our gift that God gives us that people take for granted. I'm going to start with, uh, I guess, Gannon Stalk and his evil stepmother, Letitia. My theory, and in my opinion, is that she took those pictures of Ganon in his bed with his Switch, Nintendo Switch, as a souvenir of sorts. Something she could look at later. Something that she could be proud of. Now I think she took his phone so he couldn't call anyone. She beat him with that board so severely, but he didn't die. So I think she was saying, Oh, Gannon, I'm so sorry. We'll take you to the doctor and we'll get you all fixed up. I'm so sorry. She bandaged him up. That's why there was no blood in the truck. But before she left the house, she grabbed that suitcase. She put it in the bed of the truck. And I think as she drove around for four hours, making an appearance in Petco, twice, discarding evidence, hoping that Gannon would die. I think maybe he was unconscious. She stuck him in the back, in that suitcase, took him in the house, and that's why nobody's seen him get out. I've looked at that video so many times, and I've never seen him get out of that truck. <clears throat> She was running up and down the stairs like a mad woman. Probably paranoid. Thinking she heard a car door. Maybe it was Haley. Maybe she left work early. You know, something. Grabbing cleaning supplies. Weapons. Don't forget, she had to take a shower. Cause she couldn't go outside and get her Tiguan and back it up into the into the garage and be seen with blood all over herself. Then she packs him up in there, takes him up to the upstairs and out to the garage and loads him in her in the back of her car. And that's what that's what I think she did. That's my theory. That's my opinion. But there are so many kids. I was trying to make a list. Oh, I couldn't get through any, any more videos. I just couldn't do it. There are just too many. We've got to change these laws. Don't let anybody forget about these kids. Teachers, churches, neighbors, friends, relatives. Let someone know. Someone knows something all the time that's going on. 
And I don't see why people do what they do when they know, like Letitia, you cannot get away with stuff. Not in this day and age with all the GPS and the video surveillance and pings on cell phones. and You can't get away with anything. And she won't get away with it. We're going to make sure of that. Landon and Al are not going to let you get away with this. And neither is anybody else. Remember, watch out for these kids. It's our responsible as adults. We're, it's our responsibility to step in and report things. We owe it to our children. We've got to change some laws. Our children are our future and they're our precious gift from God. You know how many people would love to take your child if you don't want it? You have a way out other than hurting it or killing it. Think about it. And thank you for watching. Take care.